welcome to our Lent Bible study that we're going to share together. Noah and Tori and I are going to be walking together through the book of Psalms during these 40 days of Lent beginning today on Ash Wednesday. They'll be posted every day. I do invite you to have your Bibles ready as we go through this study, as you click on hear what, what we read and say together. Most scripture in the Bible speaks to us as human beings. The book of Psalms speaks for us. It is really written from the human perspective, an outcry to God. These are our emotions, our words, our thoughts, projected to heaven, to God, as all the emotions would carry. You know, anger, contentment, joy, comfort, peacefulness, all of our different emotions. We're going to read all kinds of things in the book of Psalms, but this is a wonderful book. You know, in modern days, Tori and Noah are so good at, at music, and when I'm inspired the most by their music is when I see their emotions come out in the songs that they sing. So this is a lot like the book of Psalms. Uh, today we're going to read Psalm 1 together. I'm reading from the New Living Translations. Let's follow along as we read this together. Oh, the joys of those who do not follow the advice of the wicked, or stand around with sinners, or join in with mockers, but they delight in the law of the Lord, meditating on it day and night. They are like trees planted along the river bank, bearing fruit each season. Their leaves never wither, and they prosper in all they do. But not the wicked. They are like worthless chaff scattered by the wind. They will be condemned at the time of judgment. Sinners will have no place among the godly. For the Lord watches over the path of the godly. But the path of the wicked leads to destruction. You can hear all kinds of emotions in Psalm 1. The psalmist wrote that song for us to celebrate God's Word, the law of the Lord. It's perfect. And for those of us who find ourselves rooted in it, we will be on the right path. Would you pray with me? Heavenly Father, help us in all of our ways to lean into your holy word, to seek the right path that we may find you and find the best connection to you as we read these Psalms and listen to the emotions that are portrayed. Bless us, Lord, in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. 